Hello, it's Mike. In this video, I want to show you how to create your own custom template in Onyx Books 10.3 e-ink notepad. So I bought this notepad in December and I've been using it every day to capture information that I can see in my Home Assistant. This particular page in Home Assistant is showing all my boiler information. Now we got a new boiler in October and Every time I make a change on the boiler, I want to record the output. So this is where the 10.3 has really been very useful. And I can capture all the information on a daily basis. Now you can see I've got a whole bunch of data fields that I'm filling in information for. And that's basically these fields that appear in Home Assistant. Now every day what I do is I go to the very last page of this notepad and I copy the text box that has all the key fields. I just do a copy and then I go back one page and then I add a blank page and I paste in that notepad on the page by holding my finger down on the screen and selecting paste. And then I move it to the top and there it's all ready. And now all I do is I fill this in. So what you see on the screen there is for today and I would just fill this in. So cycle is 3052. The heat curve is 1.1, it's the third of the second, and I would just fill in all the key information. And then, yeah, on the right side, I'd do observations, and maybe at the bottom here, yeah, I'd have a graph of all the key information that I've got from Home Assistant. But it got me thinking, there must be an easier way, um, especially when I click on this new page, it brings up all these, these templates. Now, it would be great if I could have my own template, which is all those key fields. I couldn't really see a way inside these Onyx books to create the template. So I went over to Gemini and I asked the question, how do I create a notebook template in my Onyx books 10.3? And look at this. It's given me all the instructions and it says I need to create an image and, I, and it gives me a bunch of tools that I can use to do it. And one of them is Canva. And it also gives me all the dimensions of the, the page and, and what I should do. In Canva, I created this image with those dimensions. And there are all those key fields. And I also added some lines. And then all I need to do is click on Share, Download. I'm downloading it as a PNG. And then I click Download. And now it's going to download it to my computer. And then Gemini says I need to transfer to the Onyx books. Connect the Onyx books to your computer via USB. Well, I've got my Onyx books already plugged in to a USB cable. You can see it over here. And by the way, I'm using a little utility called Screen Copy. I did a video on the Screen Copy and I'll put the link in the description. It's extremely useful for this type of demo where I can use um, my mouse and the keyboard to move around the screen and it's just a lot easier to use. Anyway, coming back to the instructions, there's the PNG that I've just downloaded from Canva. So I'm just going to copy it and then I'm going to go to the 10.3 and go into the internal shared drive and there's a folder here called Note Template. And all I'm going to do is paste that PNG file into that folder. Now back on the notepad, all I need to do now is click on plus to add a new page. But instead of selecting a blank page, I'm going to click on more templates and I'm going to go over to custom. And in custom, you can see there's nothing there, but I, I need to add that template that I've created. So I click on this plus sign and there it is. I need to select it and click OK. And now it's in the list under custom. Now I can go ahead and select it and click OK. And there's my new page with the exact fields or data points that I want to now capture. All nicely lined and, and everything. And look at this. It's so much neater. And I can now just fill it all in as I would every single day. I can just use that same template. And then the following day, I can just hit plus And it'll remember because that was the last one. And I can just select it again. So easy and simple. If I go back or I quit out of that boiler observation notepad, I can go and create a new notepad and 
again, I can use that template. Now I've got these options, handwritten notes, text notes, from local file, and quick notes. Handwritten notes is the default, and it's remembered the last te template that I used, which was that one. So I just have to say create, and there is my template. The nice thing about this books 10.3 is that I don't have to use the same template every single page. Like if I click plus sign now, I can use a blank page. And if I click plus again, I can use a lined page. And there's three pages there now, and you'll see, if I, th that's the first one, that's the second one, and that's the third one. So it's very um, customizable, which is great. Another thing you can select is you can click create and you can say from local file. And we already know where the templates are sitting, so you could just select it from there. So it's very, very simple to do, which means that you can effectively create any template you like in um, this notebook 10.3. You don't have to use the, the templates that already exist. But even if you did want to use, look how many templates there are that you could potentially use. It's just, it's endless. And then you can go ahead and create all your own ones. So yeah, this is just a fantastic option. If you liked what you saw, please give me a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you have any comments, please leave them in the section below and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much.